Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In this video we'll be discussing all the all 50 states and we'll be looking at all the polls, the latest polls in all 50 states. So starting off looking at the national polls, Donald Trump has a 0.9% lead over President Biden. So we're going to start off with the state of Alaska. In the state of Alaska, Donald Trump leads with 53% of the vote. With Joe Biden's 41%, he need, Donald Trump leads by 12%, so that would be considered a safe state for Donald Trump. In the swing state of Arizona, Donald Trump leads Joe Biden with 45% of the vote to 40% of the vote. Trump leads by 4.5%, so Arizona would be lean Republican. In the state of Arkansas, Donald Trump has 57% of the vote, and Joe Biden has 24% of the vote there. Donald Trump needs in the state of Arkansas by 33%. In the state of California, Joe Biden needs with 54% of the vote, and Donald Trump has 31% of the vote. This makes California safe as Biden needs by 23%. In the state of Colorado, Biden needs with 49% to Trump's 39%. President Biden needs by 10 points. That makes Colorado a likely state for Joe Biden. Going to the sun, the sunshine state of Florida, Donald Trump has 49% of the vote to Joe Biden's 40%. Trump needs by 9.3% of the vote, which makes Florida a likely state for Donald Trump. In the state of Georgia, Donald Trump has a fort which has 47% of the vote to Joe Biden's 43% of the vote. Trump needs by 4%. That makes Trump have a need margin of victory in the state of Georgia. In the state of Idaho, Donald Trump has a 55% of the vote to Joe Biden's 26%. Trump needs by 29%. In the state of Illinois, Biden has 43% of the vote. Trump has 34%. This makes Joe Biden need in the state of Illinois by 9%. In the state of Indiana, Donald Trump has 55% of the vote. Joe Biden has 34%. This makes Donald Trump have a 21% need in the state of Indiana. In the state of Iowa, Trump has 49% to Joe Biden's 37%. Trump needs by 12 in Iowa. In the state of Kansas, Trump has 47%, Biden has 31%, Trump needs by 16 in Kansas. In Kentucky, Trump has 55% to Joe Biden's 26%, Trump needs by 29%. In Maine, in Maine's second district, Trump has 38%, Biden has 32%, Trump needs by 6 percentage points. In Maine's first district, Joe Biden has 39%, Donald Trump has 31%, Biden needs by 8%. And in Maine's overall district, Donald Trump has 45% and, and Joe Biden has 25%. This makes Donald Trump have a 20 point lead in Maine's second district. Now moving on to the state of Maryland, Biden has 54%, Donald Trump has 32%, this makes Joe Biden have a 22% need. In the state of Massachusetts, Biden has 52%, Trump has 22 Biden needs by 30% in Massachusetts. Michigan, Trump has 45%, Biden has 44%, Trump has a 0.4% need. This makes it a very razor-tight margin of victory in the state of Michigan. In the state of Minnesota, Biden has 44%, Donald Trump has 42%. This makes Joe Biden have a 2% need, which makes Minnesota super close as well. Missouri, Trump has 49%, Biden has 32%, Trump needs by 17 Montana, Trump has 54%, Biden has 32%, Trump needs by 21%. Point. 21.25%. In the state of Nebraska, Trump has 
47%, Biden has 31%, Trump leads by 16 in Nebraska. <clears throat> in the state of Nevada, Trump has 50%, Biden has 44%, Trump leads by 6 in the state of Nevada. Biden has 48% in New Hampshire, Trump has 39%. Biden needs by 8.3% in the state of New Hampshire. In New Jersey, Biden has 46%, Trump has 39%, Biden needs by 7% in New Jersey. New Mexico, Biden has 49%, Trump has 41%, Biden needs by 8 in New Mexico. In the state of New York, Biden has 47, Trump has 37, Biden needs by 10 in New York. In North Carolina, Trump has 46, Biden has 41, Trump needs by 5 in North Carolina. North Dakota, Trump has 54, Biden has 17, Trump needs overwhelmingly by 37%. In the state of Ohio, Trump has 50, Biden has 39%, Trump has a 10.5% lead in the state of Ohio. In the state of Oklahoma, Trump has 55. Biden has 27, Trump needs by 28. In Pennsylvania, Biden has 47, Trump has 45, Biden needs by 2.2%. And Biden needs in the state of Pennsylvania, which is a pivotal state for both candidates in the 2024 presidential election. In the state of South Carolina, Trump has 52, Biden has 36, Trump needs by more than 16%. In South Dakota, Trump has 29%, excuse me, 55%. Biden has 26%. Trump needs by 29% in the state of South Dakota. In the state of Tennessee, Trump has 55%. Biden has 31%. Trump needs by 24%. In, this, in the big state of Texas, Trump has 51 Biden has 41 Trump needs by 10.7 percentage points. In the state of Utah, Trump has 43%, Biden has 33%, Trump needs by 10 in the state of Utah. In the state of Virginia, Biden has 46, Trump has 43, Biden needs by 6 in the state of Virginia. In the state of Washington, Biden has 54, Trump has 38, Biden needs by 16 in Washington. In West Virginia, Trump has 59%, Biden has 23%, Trump needs by 36%. In the state of Wisconsin, Donald Trump has 48%, Biden has 46%, Trump needs by almost two percentage points in the state of Wisconsin. And in the state of Wyoming, Donald Trump has 68%, Biden has 15%, Trump needs by 53%. Sadly, in these remaining states, we do not have any current polling. So based off polls and from 2020, we can expect the state of Oregon to be safe Democrat, Hawaii to be safe Democrat, Vermont safe Democrat, Connecticut, Rhode Island, and Delaware and Washington DC to all be safe Democrat. And we can expect Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama to be safe Republican. So based off current polling, this is the 2024 presidential election map. Only based off current polls, Donald Trump has 296 electoral votes. Joe Biden has 242. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe, share this for your friends, and I'll see you guys in the next video.